Have you ever thought about having a pet rat in your classroom? Despite what people think, rats make great candidates for classroom pets. They're not like wild rats. They're very different. They're clean, they're social, and they're very fun to observe. There's a program called Pets in the Classroom and it awards grants to classrooms for these little furry creatures. This one's very, very curious and very active. And her name is Gracie. Now I was, like a lot of people, I was very skeptical about having a rat for a pet. But I found them to be very loving, very curious, and just a lot of fun. There are some real differences between pet rats and wild rats. For one thing, wild rats are more streamlined. And if you'll notice, the pet rats are a little more chubby. See the chubby, chubby, chubby. And they're super easy to take care of. Also, wild rats are very skittish. They're not social, and pet rats are extremely social. Now, if you do decide to have pet rats in your classroom, you'll want more than one rat because they are social creatures and they will want to have a friend with them. So, we have a friend for Gracie, and her name is Faith, and she's a little hairless rat, and she's just a little baby right now. Well, she's, she's a couple months old, and hairless rats are a breed of fancy rat. If it's not a wild rat, they're called fancy rats. And she will have hair appear, as you can see, she's got some hair on her nose. But it will fall off and then she'll get hair other places too. Now the fun thing about pet rats too is that they all have a different, um, the different breeds have different types of ears and they don't they have the cutest ears? Say bye Gracie, bye.